I've gone ahead and made all my crops, converted them into JPEGs. Uh, I can see them here in my finder. And I'm at a point now where I need to go into After Effects, make up a new project, and start bringing these all together into a timeline, adding some keyframes, adding transitions, things like that. So let's go ahead and open up After Effects. And while that's starting, uh, in my demo folder, I'm going to make uh, one big folder to put all of my project files into. So I'll add in all my crops there. And that way, uh, I will save my After Effects project file into that demo folder. All my assets and my After Effects file will be in the same place. I won't have to worry about them getting moved around or lost or anything like that. All right, so here we are in After Effects. When we open After Effects, we'll automatically have a, a blank project, but if you have something open, you can hit File, New, New Project from the menu bar. And now we'll go ahead and start importing uh, any of our footage or assets, or in this case, still images that we'd like to work with. So going back to that demo folder, I'll just click and drag and drop these into my project panel. And then let's make a new composition that we'll use to bring together all of those images uh, into a timeline. So this is going to be 1920 pixels by 1080 pixels. And I'm working with a frame rate of 24 frames per second. Uh, this is a little bit a matter of preference. Some folks like 24, some folks like 30, some folks like 12. Uh, I like 24 because it's very easy to divide. So for example, uh, if I want something to happen over one second, I know obviously that's 24 frames, half a second is 12 frames, quarter of a second is six frames and so on. So it divides really evenly. Uh, my duration, uh, I'm gonna set this right now. It's at about 30 seconds and five frames. That should be good to start with. We can always come back to these composition settings and adjust this later on. And I'm going to change the composition name to include my last name. i just go ahead and click OK. And I can see there uh, I've got my composition. Let's go ahead and also save the project itself. And I want to make sure that I save it into that demo folder that has all my images. That way I don't have to keep track of where my image files are. It's just going to stay in that folder.